welcome to another episode of the LSC Waypoint Update. Uh, it's hard to believe that the second international break is already upon us, but we've got one last recap for you before we get to that. Uh, and then Chris is joining us again. How's it going, Chris? Yes, all right, thank you. All right, so I, I am, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm here to, to see how everyone got on last week. <laughs> to bring the blowtorch again. Well, yeah. you know, you know how it goes now. <laughs> indeed, indeed. So we'll get straight to it. Uh, Ollie remains in first position with 504 points in total. The only team over 500 at the moment. Uh, 44 on the week. Uh, not the best of weeks, but certainly not the worst. You can see just scanning down there. We'll just take a quick look at the team. Some reliable scores, as you can see there. Uh, but nothing really that jumps up too much. Uh, he's got Romero on the bench, though. He could have had some nice extra... I don't know why he didn't play Romero. <laughs> playing Luton. I mean, uh, Romero playing Luton. The, th the thing with Romero is it's either a red card... He's been bad this year. I think Ange has calmed him down. It's, really? it's like he's neutered him. Or well, something. he's got it like, yes, yeah, so he's burning inside him. <laughs> and it just doesn't quite come out. Well, yeah. The so chill Aussie has is, is gotten through. Clearly. Yeah. Clearly. Uh, so yeah uh, uh, but yeah okay week for Ollie so still remains in top uh, Zach he climbs up into second like he went up Ooh. for that header in the, in the uh, preseason game with uh, a solid 60 on the week that was one of the highest scores of the week not quite the top three I don't believe uh, and obviously as we can see here Salah did quite a bit of the heavy lifting there um, with uh, the 30 points and good for you though Zach up. good for you captaining Salah so all, these, all these people captaining Haaland well so <laughs> you knew better well aside from that though I have to say Nothing particularly exciting in there. No. But, um, but you know, it's, it's the captain sees where it's at. Fair play to you. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, yeah, I think second position may well be Zach's highest position of the year so far. Uh, I move up to third place with 59. But Alex with the weak high score of 73. He brings himself back into the top five. Uh, so uh, we'll take a look at his team here. He too Another captained one. Salah, but he also had a fair bit around Salah as well, to be fair to him. so uh, I like the uh, I like the player Turner in goal. Yeah, I just say bold. that's it. That's yeah. bold. That is bold. Yeah. Paid off big time. Absolutely love yeah. it. But yeah, as you say, say again, one not to have Harlan in the team at all. Yeah, yeah. He kept even Alvarez over Harlan. Absolutely. So, yeah. It's it's the money thing though. He Harlan takes a lot of money, a lot of resources, sure so you can spread that around. Uh, and then rounding out the top five, uh, we have uh, Flip's team there as well. Uh, and uh, yeah, that obviously means that Mike and Brad have obviously slipped out. It's a fairly close race at the top. Uh, you can see though uh, the top. Uh, two to five will range from 490 to 485 and even then down to uh, six it's, it's 482 uh, so we'll turn to the other end of the table now Aiden falls to the bottom of the table at the moment uh, only team not to get to 400 points he got 39 points on the week which I think was the uh, second lowest score of the week that 39 so again we take a look at the lineup um, it's just a not a lot he, he really he really benefited from Spurs this week he did look at that <laughs> huge huge score from Spurs he did play Romero and Captain Madison but aside yeah. from that yeah nothing really doing there yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, and uh, what else is going on? So, yeah, Ben, obviously Ben uh, had previously a few weeks ago a really good week, but yeah, slipped right down, had a few shocker weeks, but uh, gets back on the board with a 54 week last week, um, which is obviously obviously much better. Um, again, Sal did a fair bit of heavy lifting though, didn't he? For sure. For sure. We've seen a, this, this is a constant theme this week. Yeah. Say, so, but again, 54 points, not terrible. Not terrible in comparison to... Um, some I've seen on that board there. No, definitely. Uh, and then uh, Alex falls into the bottom three, I believe, for the first time as well. 40 points. It's been a better up than he has had of late. He's had a few ropey weeks of late. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's still not been on the best of runs, and that's obviously dropped him into the bottom three as well. He had Salah, but did not captain him. A decision he'll be regretting mightily because oh, he decided to captain Son instead. Too yeah. many margaritas there, I'm afraid. <laughs> so, got other things to think about in the last couple of weeks, but... Um, but yeah, so Captain Son. I mean, fair enough. You know, he's he's had good weeks, but you'd say what could have been there, Frax? What could have been? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Betts though, he's had a resurgence. So he'd obviously been sliding down the boards. We've seen with his in incredibly uh, glitzy midfield and uh, fullbacks. Uh, he used the wild card last week though, and it paid dividends because uh, it got him fifty six points. Pulls him out of the bottom three. He too had Salah, didn't captain him though. Um, he also chose to captain Son, but it didn't matter because around that there was still a fairly good amount of, of players there. So. Clearly. A and I say a lot of the attacking players, but I like to see just a a, a solid, you know, six foot eight, big old Geordie in there, <laughs> just to, just, you know, just stabilize, just, just, yeah, fight. exactly, stabilize it, <laughs> be the anchor man, you know, just just. It's just that I love it. Yeah. A, the thing is, though, Dan Burn is a cultured six foot eight left footed fullback. In the let's be honest, he's he's a freak. You, you're worth, it's worth more than point fantasy points. Have a player like that in your team. Absolutely right. right. Yeah, That's absolutely. It. it makes a statement. Yeah. And then lastly, uh, Tim is on an absolute warpath at the moment because 
as we know, Tim was at the bottom at some point, fairly adrift at yeah, the bottom yeah. as well. Uh, but he's uh, he's been absolutely turning the ship around. He's had another absolutely blitzing week with 63, which is the second highest score on the week. Again, his famous boycott, the only team to uh, boycott Harland. Uh, and uh, yeah, we can see the side here. He obviously, leans on Isaac, who had a good day on the weekend against West Ham as well. Had Salah, had uh, Madison, who he captain as well, and some other solid points around. Oh, I love that, that so. Nate. I haven't seen enough Isaac in any but everyone's teams. So he's yeah, I, yeah, effective. Yeah, effective. definitely, he's a good player. Having a good season good player for sure. Uh, so that is it for the Waypoint FPL update this week. Obviously, we'll be back with you in a couple of weeks' time because we're going into the international break now. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's have a good game tomorrow, everyone, and uh, obviously have a good weekend after that as well. Absolutely right. Christ Central, 9.30 tomorrow in Portsmouth. Bring your flak jacket. See you there.